Hey, what's up everybody? The new Sims are here for the month of September, and in this video, I'm gonna review Lovely, Stitch, and Angel from the Lilo and Stitch series. Now, Lilo and Stitch and Angel is going to be our pair Sim that's going to be released in the month of September, and honestly, this is a really hard Sim to get. Lovely, Stitch, and Angel has a drop rate of 12.5%. Compared to Lovely, Clarice, and Lovely, Tinkerbell, Lovely, Stitch, and Angel significantly higher. For Lovely Clarice, we're at 50%, and Lovely Tinkerbell is at 37.5%. But from my experience, it took me about 38 boxes or 32 boxes uh, in order to get a copy of Lovely Stitch and Angel. So even with all the zooms clear, it was still relatively difficult for me to get Lovely Stitch and Angel. However, if you are trying to get Lovely Stitch and Angel right now during the first lucky time in the month of September, uh, essentially you're going to go straight to skill level 3. You're not going to get uh, Lovely Stitch and Angel at skill level 1 or skill level 2. So essentially, you're going to get 3 free zooms if you are able to get Lovely Stitch and Angel now. So maybe that's why it's a little bit more difficult uh, to get Lovely Stitch and Angel now compared to maybe even later. Uh, but it's pretty cool. If you are able to get Lovely Stitch and Angel right away, it's going to go straight to skill level 3. And because of that, I won't have any data for Lovely Stitch and Angel at skill level 1 and 2. And before I go any further, if you guys are enjoying this type of content where we review sims, do monthly leaks, do selection box reviews, do pickup capsule reviews, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Your subscription really helps me a lot in growing this channel. And also, if you're interested in chatting with me or other Zoom Zoom players, then please consider joining my Zoom Zoom line chat here, or I also have another Discord server where I would talk about other games as well. So scan this QR code if you are interested. Okay, so let's take a look at their abilities. Uh, for Lovely Stitch's skill, he's going to clear a horizontal line of zooms, and there's th three different patterns, and we'll take a look at that, but the pattern honestly doesn't matter too much. As for a Lovely Angel's ability, zooms become easier to chain for a short time, and I'll get into her ability once I show you the game demonstration. So if you are using Lovely Stitch and Angel's skill together, meaning that you use Stitch's skill while Angel's skill is activated, what will happen is that you'll have Stitch's ability do his normal thing where he runs in a pattern and then clears, but at the very end, there's also going to be a center burst as well and clears a center assume. So there's going to be a bonus ability. So that's really what you should be striving for is to use the combo if as much as possible, but I'll get into the strategy a little bit later. Let's take a look at their stats first. In order for you to activate Lovely Stitch's ability, you're going to need to clear a total of 15 copies of him off the screen. Compared to Angel, you're going to need 32. So as you can see here, it's significantly higher to activate Angel's ability versus Stitch. So one way of playing this is you could activate Stitch's ability first. Uh, that should help you generate more Angels uh, for the second ability. Uh, and by the second time that Stitch's ability is fully charged, you should be able to activate Angel's ability. So as you saw there, I did activate Stitch's ability on its own, but I am saving up uh, Angel's ability until it's full. So I didn't, I purposely didn't activate the ability there, uh, just so that I know that I can activate uh, Stitch's ability and do the combo. The minimum score here is 25 with a maximum score of 1,255. So minimum score is not that great, it's only 25, but the maximum score is pretty good. So from a scoring perspective, it is a really good zoom, especially the skill uh, has a score multiplier as well. So if you are looking for a high scoring zoom, I do believe Lovely Stitch and Angel is going to be one of those zooms. I'm currently still working on leveling up Lovely Stitch and Angel to level 50, so it's still a work in progress. But once I get, uh, get them to level 50, I plan on doing a live stream and really showing you how powerful this zoom is when it comes to score, or maybe how not powerful it is. So we'll have to see once I get Lovely Stitch and Angel to level 50. And if you want to get this zoom to skill level 6, you're going to need a total of 36 copies of them. But remember, it is lucky time right now, and you are going to get that bonus where you jump to skill level 3. So you save 2. So if you are able to get Lovely Stitch and Angel right now, uh, you're only going to need 33 copies of him, or 33 copies of them to get it to skill level 6. So think about that. But it's a lot of investment because it's really hard to get Lovely Stitch and Angel even with the lucky time. I feel like the drop rates are significantly lower uh, compared to the other sims that we have. So let's take a look at the skill range. So for Lovely Stitch, the ability is going to reference the skill range. 
as skill level 1, the skill range is going to be extra small. And if you can get lovely stitch to skill level 6, the skill range is going to be extra, extra large. And this is in reference to him running across the screen that will be thicker, that little path that he takes. Uh, in terms of the score multiplier, it starts at 1.3 multiplier. And if you are able to get them to skill level 6, the score multiplier will be 2.8. So I do think that Lovely Stitch and Angel could be a good contender to be a good scoring soon. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I jumped straight to skill level 3 once I got the first copy. And when this happened to me, I was a little surprised. I didn't expect this because I didn't read through the prompts. Uh, but So I don't have the game demonstration for skill level 1 and 2 uh, because I jumped straight to skill level 3. But regardless, I want to show you the game demonstration for skill level 3, uh, even at the lowest level and show you some of my strategies as well. So there are four takeaways here when you're using Lovely Stitch and Angel. It is a pretty complicated zoom to use actually. There's a lot of strategy to it. But what I recommend you to do is when you first start off the game, uh, because it's so much easier to charge up Stitch versus Angel, you're likely gonna get Stitch fully charged up first. So what I recommend you to do is activate Stitch's ability first and try to make sure that the screen has a lot of zooms or make sure that it's full of zooms uh, before activating the ability. Now by the second time your Stitch is full, your Angel should also be close to full. So just wait until your Angel is full before you activate the ability. And once you activate Angel's ability, you want to activate Stitch's ability right away. And then during their ability or during Angel's ability, the zooms don't need to be touching one another for you to connect them. So what that means is that you'll just want to connect or spot where all the zooms are that's in the same pattern. So if you see a bunch of Stitch, connect all of those. And if you see a bunch of Angels, connect those. And really that's what you should do. During the animation, you should really focus on just clearing Stitch and Angel. So let me slow this down for you and show you, see how I'm able to connect chains or make chains uh, when these zooms aren't even touching each other. They're really far away. It's still happening pretty fast, but essentially what you want to do is during the animation or during Angel's ability, you want to focus on clearing only Angels and only Stitches. And the reason for that is it continues to charge up your ability bar and you want to activate as many abilities as possible per game. And uh, when you activate Stitch's ability, remember you have that extra burst at the very end. So you really wanna strive for that. You wanna strive to always be able to activate Stitch's ability while you're in Angel's ability because you always get that additional center clear uh, compared to if you just use uh, Angel's ability on her own. Uh, the only benefit is that you would be able to connect chains from far away. And that might be something that could be useful for you. So you might have just activated Stitch or maybe you messed up, you activated Stitch and now your Angel's full, but your Stitch is nowhere close to being full. So what I recommend you to do in that situation is if you have Angel's ability activated, focus on clearing Stitch's ability as much as possible and try to get one more Stitch ability activated and be able to clear as much zooms as possible. Uh, during the ability for Angel, it's extremely easy to make long chains because the zooms don't need to be touching one another for you to chain them. So they could be in the top right, you can still connect chains to the bottom right. As long as it's the same pattern or the same type of zoom, you're going to be able to make a really long chain. So with Angel's ability, it's extremely powerful. Now let's take a look at skill level 4, 5, and 6. For these three game demonstrations, I want you to really focus on the strategies that I use. Once I got to skill level 6, I was really able to implement the strategies that I just mentioned to you. And really the difference here between skill level 4, 5, and 6 here is the skill range and the score multiplier. As you can see there for skill level 4, the skill range is going to be large for Stitch and extra large for 5 and skill level 6, it's going to be extra, extra large. And that's in regards to the pattern when uh, Stitch runs across the screen. The score multiplier is not very noticeable. It really will depend on like at the end of the game you'll be able to see your score and you can really feel the difference. But as you're leveling up your pair zoom, you're all drastically going to see the changes as well. And I'll show you my score multipliers or my score results at the end of this gameplay uh, or at the end of this video so you can see the results that I got for the four gameplays that you're watching right now. So again, just to reiterate, what you should do is activate Stitch's ability first at the very, very beginning of the gameplay. There are very rare circumstances where you'll be able to get Angel right away or maybe Angel getting close to be fully charged. And in those scenarios, it's worth waiting a couple of seconds. But you see there at skill level 6, I didn't have Stitch fully charged right away. 
and I went straight to clearing Stitch right away and getting that little bit that's left and then activating the ability. And that was okay because I was still able to activate a second Stitch in the same ability of Angel. So every single time you activate Angel's ability, you should always strive to be able to activate Stitch's ability twice. And that's really been the pattern that I've been using and in one lucky instances, I was able to get Stitch activated three times. So it really just depends on how quickly you play and how lucky you get from the drops because sometimes they will drop you a lot of Stitch during Angel's ability. Oh, and one more thing. If you have magic bubbles handy, try to save them and burst them around the time of when you have uh, Angel's ability activated. Because from my experience, when you burst bubbles during Angel's ability, you're going to be able to get back into ability time for Stitch right away or pretty close to it. So having those bubbles handy and bursting them during uh, Angel's ability uh, really helps me out to activate Stitch's ability again. What I also want to show you guys is the abilities activated at the same time. But for this game demonstration, I'm not going to slow it down like how I usually do it because really it's not going to be very helpful even if I slow it down. So I'm just going to let it play through. So what happens here when you activate uh, Angel's ability is that you'll see I always activate Stitch's ability right after that. So try to spam the ability button if you can and look at the pattern, they're all going to be different. And for the burst, it's always going to be standard. It doesn't matter what skill level you have her or have them at, it's all going to be the same. And you see there, I was able to always get a second ability activated for Stitch. And you generally only have time for two, but like I mentioned, you can get three if you're able to squeeze that in there. And really, that's the pattern you want to go for. Just always activate Angel's ability and then try to get two Stitch's ability in at the same time. And by doing that, you're going to get really good results. So speaking of results, let me show you the results that I got for all four of these gameplays. So as a reminder, I don't have any data for skill level 1 and skill level 2 because I was able to pull one of these zooms during the lucky time. So I got straight to skill level 3. So for skill level 3, uh, I, for the score, I got 6.1 million with a coin earnings of 2.2 .2 or 2,274. And for skill level 4, I got 11 million, so a pretty big increase in terms of score. And for coin earnings, I got 3,497, so pretty good. And skill level 5, 16.5 million, so another big jump in terms of score with a coin earnings of 4,638. And then finally for skill level 6, I got 21.6 million for score and 6,031 for coins. So from a coin earnings, getting this zoom to skill level 6 is very difficult. Uh, unless you want to use skill tickets and by all means, sure, but it's really not worth it uh, to use your skill tickets. However, if you have a good amount of skill tickets saved up and you want to just get this zoom to a, a level that you feel like it's good enough for coins, then honestly, skill level 4 is already pretty good. And if you're watching this video early, it would mean that you already got this pair zoom to skill level 3. So essentially, you'll just need to invest a couple more skill tickets in it and you'll be able to get this zoom to skill level 4. And I think for skill level 4, it's perfect where it's at. You can still get this zoom to level 50 for score and the scoring so far is pretty good. I don't have this zoom max out yet. I'm probably only level 5 here from these game recordings. So nothing drastic. It's just really good gameplays and really playing really fast and using the strategy that I mentioned to you. So if you could master the strategy that I shared with you and be able to play really fast, uh, you're going to be able to get a pretty high score. You definitely don't need to get this zoom to level 60 or lo skill level 6, I mean not level 60, skill level 6 uh, to be very effective for score. Uh, you could get a really high score just having this zoom at skill level 4. You don't need to get this zoom to skill level 6. Uh, it does help of course because of the score multiplier, but skill level 4 is already really good. And uh, yeah, for this zoom, I definitely recommend you to stay at skill level 4 just because how difficult it is to get even with the lucky time. But anyways, that's my review for Lovely, Stitch, and Angel. I hope that you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you guys would like to see more SimSim content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.